Hey guys, welcome back to another Lipstick Swatch video. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me on this journey, I want to thank you for your continued support. So today's video is going to be all about e.l.f. Cosmetics. I recently did a video on e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their new lip lacquers. So make sure you go and check that out if you want to see what my review was on the lip lacquers. But for today's video, I am going to be doing the swatches for their new bullet lipsticks, which are the Seriously Satin Lipsticks. So these are the eight Seriously Satin Lipsticks from e.l.f. that just came out. And there are a variety of shades, so I really can't wait to, to see what these will actually turn out like. So if you're interested in seeing how these are going to swatch, then make sure that you stay till the end. So let's just jump right into the swatches. The first shade I'm going to start with here is called Creme. This is what the shade Creme looks like. Um, not sure about the smell. It kind of gives off like a crayon smell but it could just be this one um so this is creme and we're gonna go ahead and see how this looks on the lips i knew this is gonna swatch like this so from my impression you can tell how i feel about this lipstick it's definitely a no to the no to the no there is just no way i am actually gonna wear this color out in public like this this is just the first shade so we're not gonna freak out about the entire collection it's just the first shade obviously it's not very complimenting to my skin tone i will have to work a little bit harder to have this color work for me but obviously straight off the bat it's a no to the no to the no it's not gonna work it's definitely giving me casket ready vibes it's looking very ashy to the hundred degree in the name of randy jackson this is a no for me dog That first shade was a little disappointing, but on to the next, we have Sugar Plum. And I do have a little bit more hope for Sugar Plum. A very beautiful dark berry shade. This one is so satiny and creamy. This one feels a lot more satiny than the first one. This feels a lot more smooth and easy to apply. I really do like the formula for this over the first one. And obviously I like the color too. Now this color I can definitely rock. I think it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. The formula and the color obviously is way better than the first one I tried. I don't think the first one, I don't think the formula was as smooth and creamy and satiny as this one is. I did not get the same feeling as when I was applying creme. So I really do like this color. It complements me so much better. I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to apply a lip liner if I don't want to. I can just wear it right straight out of the tube. So yeah, I definitely like this one and it gets a thumbs up from me. Third shade up is called Cider. Cider is, I think, I would describe it as, well, it looks brown, so it's a brown shade. I like it though. I actually like the way this swatches. Hmm. Well. It's 
kind of looking orange, like a burnt orange. Love the formula as well. It's seriously smooth. I don't know, does this look more like a brown or a burnt orange? It's hard to tell. I think it's like a mix between the two, but either way, I think the color is beautiful. From the mere fact that I really can't tell or pinpoint what color it actually is, I think that's what makes it so unique. It's because I can't really pinpoint if it's brown or if it's like a burnt orange or something in between that. So it's hard for me to pinpoint, but either way, I actually love how this color looks. So yeah, I am digging cider. This one is a good one. I like it. So now we're halfway through the shades. This is shade number four, and this one is called, this one is called Taffy. Pinky Mauve maybe? Well, let's just see what it's gonna look like. Ah. I'm getting like a bubblegum pink from this color. It just, it automatically reminds me of a bubblegum. I don't know, I feel like this shade kind of reminds me of when I was younger and I wanted like bubblegum pink lip gloss and just bubblegum pink things. <laughs> I think this is what it reminds me of. And the first impression of this color is that it's so youthful, it's so fun, it's vibrant, it reminds me of great spring and summertime. It's comfortable, it's young, it's youthful. I think we all deserve a shade like this in our collection for those days when you just want to wear a fun summer dress to the beach or throw on some Converse with some casual somewhere and a nice pretty bold pink lipstick like this. There's a time and a place for everything and I think this lipstick is so cute and fun and that's where I'm gonna leave it. I, I enjoy lipsticks like this and it already makes me happy that I'm wearing it. So I know it's gonna lift my mood immediately when I wear a shade like this. I like this one, I can't complain. Shade number six is called Nectar. Um, I don't know about this, but we'll continue. Mm, I'm getting like a peachy color from this, and I don't know how I feel about this one yet. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this shade. I don't love it and I don't hate it. I'm kind of caught in the middle about this shade. I really can't decide if I like this shade or not. Like I, I can see it working and I can see it failing. It's like, it's, it's a little brown, but it's trying to be peach. And it's, it's kind of, it's leaving me confused as to what shade it is. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment in the comment section. And let me know if you think this is a great match for me or not. I can't decide, so I will leave that up to you guys. I'm stuck in the middle. I don't love it, I don't hate it, and we're just gonna leave it at that. Moving on to shade number six, we're moving into the reds. By the way, I think this video is going up on Valentine's Day, so if it does, then happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And hopefully this is a great red lipstick that you can buy to celebrate your Valentine's Day with your boo. 
Um, this one is called Cherry. So it's a cherry red lipstick. And who doesn't love a great cherry red lipstick? As a matter of fact, who doesn't love a great red lipstick in general? Gorgeous. Well, it's not a perfect application. I was a little bit messy, but can we both agree how beautiful this red lipstick swatched? Very flattering, very sexy, very bold. I am in love with this shade. I don't have anything against a red lipstick. A red lipstick is a red lipstick and it does what it does. This one is no different. I love it. Moving along with the red theme, I have another red lipstick. And this one is called Pepper. Oop. Uh, <laughs> I nicked it. So there you have Pepper. So when I hear Pepper, I think of like a spicy red. So we're going to see if that is what's going on with this one. So yeah, I definitely see like a red-orange mixture in this. Well, hello, Pepper. So if you love a red lipstick, and you love a red lipstick with a little spice in there, Pepper is the shade for you. It's a gorgeous red-orange shade that not only brings the sexy, but brings the spicy as well. So you're getting a little bit of everything. This is a red hot color, hence the name Pepper. Makes a lot of sense now, right? Yeah. So yeah. Pepper is really pretty. This is also a nice shade to wear on Valentine's Day. Give me a thumbs up if you guys think this is a beautiful color. And now we're to the end of the collection. So lastly, but not leastly, we have shade number eight. This is called Coco. You can't end the collection without a vampy shade, right? Well, well, well. I like this color. I think the color is very sexy, very moody. I love this color. I have nothing bad to say about this color. It's beautiful, it's comfortable. I give this one a thumbs up. All right, so let's get into a little recap of the Elf Seriously Satin Lipstick Collection. First off, I do want to say that the packaging is super cute. Um, it's, you know, plastic, but the clear tube is really nice to look at, very pleasing to the eye, and it will look so pretty sitting on your vanity. So I like that you can actually see the color of the lipstick from the tube itself. So it takes the guesswork out of finding out what the color is because you can see it straight through the tube. Next is the price, of course, the affordability. You know, around here, I'm trying to stay on a budget. Since the 1st of January, it's like we got bills to pay. Uh, we got priorities and you know i'm trying to keep everyone's coins in their pockets so these go for three dollars a piece i got them at ulta 
and yeah three bucks a piece you can't beat that you know elf is one of those brands that's known for offering very affordable makeup not just lipsticks their whole makeup line is built on affordability even though they're affordable lipsticks or affordable makeup the quality of their makeup i notice have been getting better and that brings us into the the formula which is described as a satin finish which really does feel very satiny and creamy i'm not sure about the first shade creme maybe it's because i really did not like how that shade swatched on me but i feel like the formula as well it wasn't as creamy as the others not only did i not like the color but there was something off about the formula maybe it's just in my head but to me it did not apply as smoothly as all the other shades so that was another reason for me not to really like this shade i just didn't like how it wasn't as smooth and as satiny as the others so um, if you guys have tried this shade, let me know what the formula is like for you if it's satiny and creamy. But apart from that one, all the other shades were very comfortable, easy to apply, very smooth, applied like butter, you know, the whole deal. So I really did like that. And it was consistent, like I said, it was consistent with the other colors except for that first one that I tried. So that's very good that the formula is consistent throughout next up is the smell they do have a weird crayon like smell to them yeah this one has it too it's it does have a little bit of a crayon smell but right now i don't smell it on my lips but if you go straight to the tube you do smell it or even if you swatch it on your hands and smell it yeah you will smell it there but right now on my lips, I do not smell anything. It's just straight from the tube. To me, it smells a little bit like crayon. So that might be a turn off for some people. Um, but I guess it goes away because right now I am not smelling it. So now we can talk about the, um, the staying power of these. Obviously, I haven't worn them out yet, but I already know that they will not last very long. Why? Because they are a satin finish lipstick. So they are creamier, and because they're creamier, that means they will transfer easier. So I have nothing on the back of my hands. I wiped off my lipstick that I had there. And a lot of that came off already so if it comes off right now this is a good indication that two to three hours later this will more than likely disappear especially if you've been eating or drinking throughout that period of time so if you want your lipstick to last a little longer then try eating and drinking less that doesn't really work for me, so I will just take my lipstick and apply it as necessary. But of course, if you're looking for something more long lasting, then might as well just go with a matte liquid lip or just a matte lipstick to start because this you will have to reapply multiple times. Obviously, the evidence is on my hand. If you don't care about reapplying your lipstick, then you'll be fine. You just take it with you and then reapply as necessary. I give this collection a thumbs up. I think the color range was amazing and there's something that could more than likely work for everyone out there because they have nudes to bowls, berries, reds. They have a good mixture so I can't complain about that. So yeah, I think overall it's a great collection. It's definitely worth trying and if you don't like it, you're not gonna really lose out because why they are only three bucks a piece <coughs> can't eat that but that's all i got for you guys if you like this video make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are aware of all my future uploads i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video i will be uploading the revlon 
I think it's called the Revlon Shock Lip Lacquers, something like that. So make sure you stay tuned for that and click the notification bell. But that's all I got. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.